we are almost there. Let's remove the console log. And what we want to do now inside of the use effect that does not have any app dependencies, we want to loop over all our sections and set up a scroll trigger. So when the section comes into a view and is just below the center of the viewport, we want to fade it in. Okay, but we don't want to fade in all of them at the same time. That's why we had to set up the array so we can set up the scroll trigger for each of them individually. Okay, so that's why we did the hard work in the previous part to be able to now just loop over and create scroll trigger for all of them. We will simply loop over all of them. We'll use the JavaScript for each. And for each of our sections, we want to set up GSUB from to twin. We want to animate the section from opacity zero to opacity one. So we'll use the GSUB auto alpha zero to auto alpha one. We will reset the easing to none. Then I'll wrap it on multiple lines. Now we have the twin set up and we can define the scroll trigger for our section. Okay, so the first thing we'll do, we'll give it an ID that will show when we turn the markers on. Then we'll set the trigger to be our element. the start position to be top and just off center. So when the top of the section hits 100 pixels below the center of the viewport, we want to toggle this twin in and we'll set the toggle actions to play none, none and reverse, which will mean that when we go back, the river, the twin reverses. Okay, so on the way up, we are playing it on the way down we are reversing it, okay? And at the end, we'll turn the markers on. And that's the setup for our sections revealing. The last thing we have to do, we have to import scroll trigger into our component, okay? At the moment, we don't include it in this component, so this would throw us an error. Let's scroll down to the top of the page. And just under the import of GreenSock or GSUB, we will import scroll trigger, which is automatically included when you are installing through NPM or Yarn. You have access to scroll trigger. It's not a bonus plugin. Gsub sc slash scroll trigger. And that's how we have access to it. We just need to register it as well before we use it. So gsub.register plugin scroll trigger. We'll make sure that the code is included after the tree shaking. So it's a good habit to register all GreenSock plugins at the top of your files. Scroll trigger is registered. Now we have the sections twin for each of them. And when we look at it in a browser, we'll see the markers showing up. And when we scroll down and the first section hits the breakpoint or hits the point where we want, it fades in. Okay, so this is how we are using scroll trigger for multiple sections in React application.